What's up, you guys? This is Divine Messenger 33. Where I get messages from the divine and I give them straight to you guys. So clearing out any energy that would not benefit this message. Holy Spirit, Archangel Michael, my ancestors, my spirit guides of my highest good, please come in and protect me as I channel the current energies. Ancestors of my highest good, please give me clear and accurate messages. Clear and accurate messages. Welcome, all my supporters. I appreciate you guys for liking and commenting and subscribing to the channel. I appreciate all of the love, the support, the donations, the bookings, the emails, all of the positivity that you guys show. I appreciate you. And all the services that I provide will be down below in the description box, all right? All right, Divine Feminines. Divine Feminines, we're going to see what's going on with you for the week. Divine Feminine. Let's see what's going on with you. Divine Feminine. So your psychic strength um, could be increasing here. Okay, you could be getting a lot of messages or you will be getting a lot of message messages or you will be getting a message to something that's, um, that's like been on you. Okay, for some of y'all. Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. Yeah, you about to get a message. I keep getting that. Yep. Be open to channel. So make sure you open yourself up here to receive. Yep. Your spirit guys is heavy in your energy. Yeah, they telling you to go with the flow when it comes to your manifestations. No need to worry about your manifestations here. All right. Yeah. Yeah, no need to worry about your manifestations here. It could have something to do with career or work or something you could be at a cross world with a situation your spirit guys is going to give you some kind of answer this week to help you move forward okay Divine feminine, what's going on with divine feminine for this week? Spirit, divine feminine, what's going on with divine feminine? Give me divine feminine's energy. You know what? I was picturing this energy. <laughs> Something about some temptation, divine feminine, sacrifice, solitude. Okay, divine feminine, waiting. Divine Feminine. All right, Divine Feminine. All right. Rejoice and celebration. We have disconnect and boredom. Okay, so Divine Feminine, you could be needing to... Um, some of you guys have some temptation. So some of you guys about to get tested. That's what I'm getting, y'all. Some of y'all about to get tested, okay, in a situation when it comes to some temptation. Yeah, it's possibly going to have you in your head a little bit, okay? But I feel like this is like manipulation energy, okay? This is like high, like manipulation energy. This person is really coming for you, I feel. All right, this is temptation energy. I don't feel like this is love. This is temptation, divine feminine. So don't get it mixed up. Yeah, th this is a knight of wands energy. Okay, divine feminine. So you about to get tested, yo. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. And you are led to make sure you go within in a situation to sacrifice them, this temptation energy. And when you sacrifice them, this temptation energy, you're going to get what you've been waiting for. Yep, you're going to get your, your four of wands. Yeah, but you're going to have to disconnect 
and be patient. Okay, so after you sacrifice some temptation energy, okay, I feel like then what you really want is going to come through. But I feel like for some of y'all, you about to get tested here. Yeah, when it comes to some kind of lover situation. All right. All right, let's see. Temptation, clarify temptation for divine feminine. Clar clarify temptation for divine feminine spirit. All right, let's see. Y'all, come on, spirit. Spirit is talking to y'all. Spirit is telling y'all to pay attention. <laughs> this is the devil card in both decks, yo. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this person, you're going to be in regret. Okay, if you don't sacrifice this shit. If you don't let this shit go, you're going to be in regret. Yep, you're going to be in regret. Okay, divine say turn away from this shit. Okay, sacrifice it. You have sacrifice out here twice, and then I seen the devil out here twice. All right, this is what's coming towards you this week, divine feminine. Some kind of temptation energy, and with the devil card twice, it's gonna be pretty strong, is what I'm seeing. Okay, sacrifice, clarify, sacrifice for divine feminine. Yep. High priestess, listen to your intuition. You the high priestess, so you already know. Yeah, you may have to make a head over heart decision. Yeah, this could be a person you got kids with or a person you've been knowing for a long time. But I feel like this person is coming back to try to have some kind of victory with you because you standing in your power, you sexy and shit, your ship's coming in, you in boss energy, you could have a ten of pentacles. This person could feel like you could be hot, hiding money as well. Okay, this person could feel like that you not like putting out how much you really have okay i feel like this person could feel like you at peace in life okay but i feel like the mind really wants you to listen to your intuition when it comes to this sacrifice here okay also you could have a high priestess that's trying to get you sacrificed as well all right yeah all right, so let's see. But that shit ain't gonna work, but you know, I gotta let you, you know, know what I see. Solitude, clarify solitude, clarify solitude. Yeah, I feel like while you in solitude, your heart could be healing. Yeah, it's healing. Yep, I feel like the information you are getting while you are in solitude is healing your heart here. Because I feel like you able to, you know, recognize the truth in situations. Okay, with who could be trying to keep you blocked, who could be trying to keep you um, blocked and different things like that. I feel like you like really accepting the truth of situations. Okay, or you will be this week. Okay, of what it is. And I feel like it's going to heal your heart some kind of way. You know what I mean? It's going to do another level of healing. Okay. All right, waiting game. Clarify waiting game. For divine feminine. Yeah, I feel like whatever you waiting on, you're going to get the message to go ahead. Okay, so it's something that you're going to be waiting on or something that you're waiting on. It's going to be a message to come in that's going to help you move forward in a situation. And I feel like you're going to be happy about the situation overall. Okay, with the seven of pentacles and three of cups, I feel like you're going to be happy with it. All right. That's what I feel. You're going to be happy with with whatever this is, the outcome of whatever it is you're waiting on. So whatever this is that you're waiting on, you know what that is. You're going to be happy with the outcome is what I'm seeing. Whatever this is, whatever you're waiting on. You ain't waiting on anything, then this is not for you. That part is not for you, okay? Victory and success for Divine Feminine. Clarify this energy spirit. Okay, so there's a high priestess that's trying to stop your forward movement. Chariot in reverse. Okay, I keep seeing King of Swords as well. All right. Okay, for somebody, this is a person, this, a, this person is pregnant. For some people, okay, this person could be trying to stop your forward movement and trying to block some things for you. 
okay i feel in a sneaky way all right this person could be trying to do this okay we got the page of cups so we got a i'm seeing a lot of capricorn cancer pisces energy okay you got virgo here too so yeah i feel like this person is secretly trying to stop your your success okay but i feel like for some of you guys this is also could be too you're gonna get some um some kind of hidden knowledge when you go within on how to heal something here and you're going to be happy as fuck and you're going to be able to disconnect from something here okay is what i feel yeah you're going to be able to end something here okay and your energy yeah somebody trying to stop your victorious success clarify rejoice and celebration for divine feminine Yeah, I feel like you could have had a dream about something here. I keep seeing King of Swords. Something about a King of Swords for y'all and y'all energy. That's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, I feel like somebody is hiding something. So if you're going to get invited to a party, really do some, um, like if you're feeling weird about a party or something like that, listen to yourself on that because it could be like, uh, something here and that somebody plan on doing to win at all costs and get justice when it come to you um so you need to something to do with a celebration a party or something like that because somebody is trying to stop your forward movement or something like that all right so whatever a party or something like that really listen to your intuition when it comes to this okay because you may be led to not go to this party to disconnect and not go okay for some of y'all, this is not for everybody, okay? But if you're feeling any, any like, weird vibes when it comes to a party, something like that, um, it could be some hidden motives behind this party on what is going to go down. So you need to uh, definitely um, pay attention to that. All right? Disconnect and boredom for Divine Feminine. Disconnect and boredom. Yeah, Four of Pentacles yeah disconnected <laughs> yeah i feel like it could be a situation um where somebody is holding back from from somebody and somebody is coming at somebody like real aggressive okay five of pentacles somebody could be sick or somebody money could be just moving too slow and they are going into the five of pentacles because their money is going too slow so somebody is trying to choose a path um with a passion a new beginning with somebody else okay this person don't have a lot to offer okay but with the ten of cups and nine of cups somebody look at you as they whole wish fulfillment so somebody could be in a situation where they're not happy at where they're at this person could want to come to you but this person may feel like they don't have enough all right but the person that they could be leaving is really coming for their neck here with the knight of swords like really like pushy and shit okay but i feel like this person wants somebody in your energy want a passion new beginning with you but this person feel like they don't have a lot y'all somebody a taurus virgo or capricorn this person feel like they don't have a lot okay they don't have enough to offer you so this person may just disconnect from the situation for some of y'all, that's also what I'm getting. I'm getting a lot of different messages, so just apply with fit, lead, or rest. But yeah, so that's that could be what this is too. So ultimately, I'm seeing for you guys is you guys have situations this week where you're going to have to turn away from. So you got definitely some temptation coming towards you this week that you're going to have to sacrifice and listen to your intuition on. Okay? Um, I feel like... With this devil energy, I feel like this devil energy is meant to stop you from moving forward. It's meant to stop you from getting victory, like, like success. It's meant to stop you here, okay? This temptation could come when you go to a party, a celebration, some type of event um, for some of y'all, okay? But I feel like um, when you go within and listen to your intuition, you're going to be led to disconnect from something. But you're going to realize that somebody was trying to come for your, your neck here with the Knight of Swords. And I feel like you're going to 
disconnect from something here. You're going to get the message about something. You're going to disconnect. Okay? You're going to disconnect. And you're going to be able to celebrate and shit. So, yeah. I'm feeling like basically another lesson for y'all. Y'all got a lesson coming this week. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. For some of y'all, y'all got a lesson coming. Okay? I just got to tell you what I see. All right? So, strong Capricorn. Pisces Cancer. A lot of Cancer. All right? You got Gemini. A lot of Gemini. Scorpio. All right, something about Sagittarius, I'm feeling too. All right, so that's what I'm getting for y'all. So just place those signs where you see fit. You have it in your sun, moon, rising. Okay, Venus. All right, so that's what I'm getting, y'all. Definitely passion and new beginnings is on the way. I feel like after this test, you're going to get your passion and new beginning because I'm seeing that right here on both decks. Okay, Ace of Wands and both decks was like, you know, on the top here. So definitely I'm feeling like y'all gonna, depending on what y'all do with this test now, but with the High Priestess showing up and with it showing up in the upright like that, I feel like you gonna pass this test though. Okay, I feel like you are because it came up in the upright, so. All right, divine feminine. Somebody could have colorful nails. Somebody could have a tongue piercing. All right. Somebody could be a CEO that's pregnant. All right. Somebody may find out that somebody is pregnant this week. Somebody may find out about a pregnancy that somebody been hiding. Okay. As well. I'm feeling that too. All right. Something about a drunk lip piercing. Something about a rap artist. So we have small feet. Someone that loves dark liquor. What else for Divine Feminine? CNA or someone that's a nurse. We have 70s. Definitely professional energy. All right, so you have Gemini, flight. Yeah, you may have to make a decision to take a flight as well for some of y'all. You may be going to take a flight this week. Thick eyebrows. Scorpio. Okay, for some of y'all, if you going on a flight with your person, for some of y'all, somebody gonna get pregnant, yo, on this trip, lawyer. <laughs> Someone that loves wearing leggings. Yeah, somebody gonna get pregnant on this trip. Carmex. Boxers. That's what I'm seeing, y'all. Dresses. Body sprays. What else, spirit? Stay at home dad. Someone that loves leather jackets. Somebody can have big feet. Somebody can have thin eyebrows. Some of our scary movies. Right leg and dirt thigh tattoos. Yeah, mental health issues. This is giving me like you're going to be in your head a little bit about some shit. Motorcycle. Taurus. Yeah. Temptation at all time high, yo. 40s. Engaged. Tone or muscular at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So, yeah, y'all got some temptation coming to y'all, like I said, with the devil, clarifying the devil. Listen, that's some pretty strong shit, okay? So, yeah. But I feel like if you pass this, you're going to get your manifestation, though. Like, that's what I'm getting if you pass this. 
Divine Feminine. Give me Divine Feminine Spirit. Give me Divine Feminine. Give me Divine Feminine. Give me Divine Feminine Spirit. Divine Feminine. All right. So we have N. Y. M. T. K. J. R. B. X. I. Eight could be significant. Q. U. And F. Okay. So A could be significant. I think that's August. So Leo. Okay. Something about a Leo or something like that. So. I really hope this helped y'all of some sort. Like, comment, and subscribe. Look in the description box below to see the services that I provide. And with that, you guys, peace and love.